Hi, and welcome to Financial Zula, where we give you information, insight, and tips on just about any financial topic in and around Namibia. In today's video, we will be doing a tutorial on how to register on ITES. So ITES is the Namibian um, system for filling your tax returns. It's uh, administered by NAMRA. I will link the website below how you can access the system or how you can access the website and start your registration process. But in this video, I will be doing a tutorial to walk you through how to register and just to show you an easy way to do it so that you don't struggle when you're filing your tax return. So um, please remember that this video does not constitute financial advice. And if you're looking for financial advice, please speak to a certified financial advisor. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get into this tutorial. start with this tutorial so before we get into the tutorial I just wanted to um, give a basic overview of what ITES is. ITES stands for the Integrated Tax Administration System so that's NAMRA's ePortal it is where a person is able to fill out e-registrations, e-requests, e-returns to do a self tax services um, to perform self tech services and just where a person is able to find news updates, legal and policy documents, and also access some frequently asked questions. All right, so to access the website, you can use any browser. So whatever web browser you use, um, I am using Google Chrome for this video. So I'm gonna show you two ways on Google Chrome on how you can access the system or how you can access the website. So I am on Google and I'm just going to Google search um, ITES Namibia and I will just click on the this, um, it says www.itas.mof.na. So I'm just gonna click on that and it will take me to this NAMRA page. And this is basically the page which you are looking for when you are trying to register. Um, the second option is to just put in the website straight. So the website is www.itis.mof.na. And then I will just enter and it will take me to the website. So you'll see that these are the exact same websites. I'm just gonna close one of them so that we can work on one. Okay, so this is how the website looks like. They have up here the operating hours, they have the address, and then there's some contact details. And then on the overview, you have your, your home tab, about us tab, tech services tab, um, which types of tech services that this website is able or NAMRA deals with. You have your download center where you can download your tax return forms, your application forms, and other types of documents. You have your news and events tab where you will find news uh, and information. You have your legislations where you can find your uh, legal and policy documents. Um, and then you have your frequently asked questions. And then you have further um, the further ability to contact NAMRA. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down on the website. Here we have the benefits of filling um, online. So here is just a few tabs uh, for quick access. You have what's new, where you can watch the tax incentive video. You have uh, benefits of filling online, which is where you are able to register or access the ITES portal. We will come back to that because that's what we're doing. Here we have download documents. So this first document here, the ITES registration brochure, this is um, the document that is going to help you register on ITES. So it gives you the word for word, step by step, how to register on ITES. Um, so it's essentially what this video is doing. So I'm giving you the video tutorial, but this brochure should be able to give you the step by step um, 
details i will download it and just show it to you this is what it looks like it just gives you it's short it's two pages and then it just gives you where to go to the website and all the details i will leave a link to the document below as well so that you can access it faster and then you just have your how to view your tax returns how to file income tax returns for the different years what are the various statuses of uh, what the various status of tax returns mean and then the offline electronic software you can click on any of those to find out that information we will be doing a video on how to file your income tax returns so just watch out for that video and then it further gives us the banking details for payment of taxes and then here at the bottom there's more information about what um, namra does and you can click on each link just to find out what namra does um, we go to the bottom it gives you the due date for the submission of tax returns um, so literally almost all the information you're looking for is really here um, and you can just use these three buttons to scroll through. I think this first one is uh, very important for us because there's the income tax individual salaried due date there which is 30 June and if you scroll further down we have more contact details, more links to the same um, tabs that we had up above and some support for the website so it's it's a user-friendly website it's easy to use it's easy to access and yeah it's just it's a nice website i like the colors okay so let's <laughs> let's get into how to actually register so you're going to click on register and then you're going to land on this register page um so there you're going to put in your name for this video I will be entering financial Zula and then I will be choosing a password. So I will put a picture here on the screen of an example of a strong password. So a strong password would be one that contains a character. So your hashtags, your ads, your dollar signs, your percentages, your n percents. So that's, that's a character to use. And then you have a capital letter and then your uh, lowercase letters, and then you would have a number. So that would constitute a great um, password. And then the length of the password should be at least eight characters. So I will be entering my password there. So the thing is with this is that you cannot view your password. Um, I've tried, I don't know how to, so you're not able to view it. So when you type it, you have to make sure that you are typing in the correct password. Okay. If you were to type in a password that doesn't match with the password above, it will give you this um, alert that says both entered passwords and the confirmed password are not consistent. Please re-enter, meaning that you need to enter the correct password otherwise it won't go through so let me try again it's probably going to give me the same error but it's just to show you guys that and okay um and then the next part is um where you enter a security question so the security question there's three security questions and then you choose one that if you forget your password and you need to sign in um, the system is going to ask you the security question and if you answer it correctly you'll be able to get access back into the website so i'm choosing the first one which is what is your favorite hobby and i will just say youtube here and that is the answer and then for my email address i'll go financialzula at gmail.com and so that's your email address the one to which it needs to be an active email address because this is the email address to which you will receive a confirmation email that will 
they'll send an activation link to this email address so that you are able to confirm that it's you and you can be able to activate your address account and be able to log in. So you want to put in an active email address. And then here by the verification code, you basically look at that verification code. It's usually four, a mixture of four characters, which is um, a combination of letters and numbers. And if you can't see it properly, maybe it doesn't make sense to you, you are allowed to refresh and then it will give you a new one. And then you can just enter that one as well. Okay, so I'm just having trouble with my password. So I'm just gonna go back and change the password again. Slower this time, uh, make sure it's the correct. So they now match. At this part of the video, the audio actually cut. So I luckily still have the video, so I'm able to share the video with you. But I will be walking you through the rest of the tutorial just using a voiceover just to help it uh, run smoothly. Apologies for the inconveniences. But let's continue with the tutorial. Okay, so what I was saying was everything with a red asterisk needs to be filled out so for this specific page everything that has a red asterisk needs to be filled out you need everything on this including the verification code and uh, your strong password and once you've made sure that you are happy with your security question and everything then you can submit you just submit by clicking submit and then it will take you to this confirmation page where it says confirm your email address so it says a verification code has been sent to the email address that you have provided this is why it's important that the email address that you give is actually active so that you are able to receive a verification uh, on your email with an activation link and the activation link is actually what you need to continue with this registration process so make sure that the email address that you have given is active and you will be able to receive the email address within a couple of minutes i think at most if you haven't received it after three minutes then you can click on the yellow part that says click here to resend otherwise you should have received your confirmation email so at this stage i will just add in a screen shot of the activation link that i received when i registered and to show you where to click so you just click on the link that would be the blue part in the email and then it will bring you back to the registration page where you will then be able to complete your registration once you have confirmed your active email address okay the registration process is now complete so you go to the itis portal and then what you do is you uh, uh, log in now as an uh, as a registered taxpayer so you enter the username that you entered when you were registering and then you enter your password so the good thing about the login page is that you are able to actually view your password so you don't have to be like super cautious about entering it because you will know for sure that you're entering the right password. And then you have options there to either log in as a taxpayer or log in as a representative. So once you register as a taxpayer, you're expected to log in as a taxpayer. And congratulations, you have now registered on ITES. Hi, Financial Zula viewers. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us in this video. And if you are a returning viewer, if you are new, welcome. We are really glad to have you here and we're really happy that you're interested in this content. Please do subscribe for future videos just like the one you just watched. And thank you for sharing, liking, and commenting. And we'll see you in the next video.